Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. Now, when I highlight the line, there's actually there's a few ways to highlight objects in Rhino. You can directly click on the line. Uh, you can either on the top left hand side, you can hold the mouse down and you can scroll over. Uh, but you can see that when I'm scrolling over, if I am not selecting the entire line in its entirety, it won't select. So you need to make sure that if you're scrolling from the top to the bottom right, you have to make sure everything's selected. Otherwise, um, if you are on the opposite corner, opposite side, and you scroll to the bottom, you can just barely select the line and it'll, um, or barely touch the line and it'll select the line. So to move uh, objects in Rhino, there's a few different ways. So we can highlight the line. And like I mentioned before, if you have the gumball turned on, this box with four different squares allows you to move the line whichever way you want. Um, but if you wanted to lock it in in a certain direction, so right now if you wanted to just move the line in the Y direction, you can grab the uh, arrow cursor on either end and move the line as well. Um, another thing that you can do is if your gumball was turned off here, um, the line command, if you just hold the line, you can move the line itself. But for other objects in Rhino, for example, if we were to just have a closed polyline here, um, like I said, you can still use these commands, uh, but you can type in the move command and it'll ask you which is the point that you want to select or that you want to move from. So you can select whichever one uh, point that you want. It could be on the object, off the object, but it can be a, a specific distance. For example, if I were to select this top left-hand corner and I wanted to move this object, let's say 20 feet, I type in 20 feet. You can see here that it's up in the corner um, and it will move the object 20 feet. And to finish that command, I just left clicked uh, and it automatically finished the command. And you can do the same thing for these arrows. So let's say if I wanted to move this um, right angle triangle up 20 feet, I'll just, instead of holding the cursor or the arrow and moving it, just simply click on the arrow and a box will come up and you can either you know, put whatever dimension you want and it'll move the object in the desired direction. Now, for instance, um, because that this is referring to um, the Y value as positive going up, if I wanted to move this object through the arrows only, um, instead of using plus or a 15 feet auto, um, Rhino is thinking that that's gonna go up, you can do the minus 15 feet and it'll drop the right angle down. So to keep that in mind, um, if, if you are using the arrows to change directions, um, just look at which way the arrow is facing. And if you want it to go the opposite direction, just type in minus.